Today's ingredient on Million Dollar Batchmaker is often a byproduct of soap production. It's a humectant, meaning that it helps skin and hair retain moisture. It also readily dissolves in water, making it ideal for water-based formulations. It is also a little-known preservative, able to preserve delicate items like this flower here. I am talking about glycerin. As always, we will be answering what is it, how it's made, and is it safe? Glycerin is a simple polyol and sugar alcohol. It is colorless, odorless, and has a high viscosity as indicated by our viscometer here. And for those of you who can't read our machinery, it says 1,327 centipoise using spindle 5 at 60 RP, whatever. Let's just label this as pretty freaking high. This is the chemical formula, C3H8O3. The boiling point is 290 degrees Celsius. The density is 1.26 grams per cubic centimeter and the freezing point is 17 degrees Celsius, evidenced by this glycerin that's been in the freezer for six hours. Now, let's address how glycerin is made and used and reused each and every single day around the world. In fact, let's do this classroom style and zoom in on the presentation board. This is the chemical structure of glycerin. Notice the three OH groups. They will come up again later. Vegetable glycerin, of course, comes from vegetable sources, such as indirectly from palm trees and soybeans, which are used in industrial processes such as soap making. Another source for glycerin is of course from animal sources like animal tallow. Glycerin is used as a sweetener in food and yes, it will contribute to your calorie count. It is also used to create and preserve botanical extracts, for example rosemary, lavender extract, etc. It is also used in pharmaceuticals. It is a key ingredient in e-cigarettes and it's used as a chemical intermediary to create other chemicals. And now here's a history lesson. As early as 1920, glycerin was widely used as an antifreeze for car engines. However, in the 1930s, ethylene glycol largely replaced glycerin in the marketplace. And as far as personal care goes, this is just a small list of the personal care and cosmetic products that routinely contain glycerin. Here we have a diverse collection of products ranging from lip balms to body butters. And why is glycerin used in literally everything? Well, let's just move this aside and simply state the obvious. It is hygroscopic. It likes water and therefore retains moisture in the skin. Now, when adding glycerin to cosmetic formulations, ideally add between 1.5 and 5%. Adding more than 5% glycerin and you run the risk of retaining too much water in the person's tissues, leading to oily skin and or damp hair. Okay, let me explain. This is the segment of the episode I would like to call Bad Parkour. I'm gonna ninja my way down to the front seat of this forklift and drive to my next destination. Alright, just carefully now. I don't want to die. Just gotta squeeze in between these metal spokes here. And I made it. All right, that wasn't so hard. It's a lot easier than making glycerin soap, or heart surgery, or, you know, rocket science. Point is, I'm a ninja for the day. If you disagree, leave a comment. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, glycerin and other glycols can be considered fairly weak preservatives as well. Reason being, they have an amazing ability to render some organic molecules inert. Just think back to the rose in the beginning of the video. However, glycerin does not provide broad spectrum coverage against mold, bacteria, fungi, etc. And now, the question we all want answered. Is it safe? Glycerin is safe. It is naturally produced in the body, albeit in small quantities. So if glycerin gets in your bloodstream, your body knows exactly what to do with it. Of course, like most natural substances, it is possible to get an allergy to it. If you suspect you have a glycerin allergy, please consult your doctor before using products that contain or are made with glycerin. Okay, to enhance your knowledge, let's have a little quiz. According to the Cosmetic Ingredient Review, a nonprofit ingredient safety organization, what is the most common usage for glycerin in personal care and cosmetic items? Is it 1. 
toothpaste, two, leave-on products like massage oils, or three, lipstick. Just think about it for a second. The answer is two, leave-on products like massage oils. And that makes sense. Most of these products have the goal of retaining moisture on the skin over a period of time. Okay guys, make sure to check out our other videos on common cosmetic ingredients. Soon enough, we will be making more tutorials, showing you how to make lotions, creams, scrubs, and a thousand other items. Subscribe if you like our content, and leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. Until next time, this is Million Dollar Batchmaker, signing out.